One of the most troubling spots for most students is translating numbers into words or words back into numbers. You're going to need this skill every time you do story problems because there's a relationship between the numbers that are within the problem. And also, this is a prelude to a pre-algebra and an algebra concept of forming an, uh, an equation and solving it. So we're, we've studied order of operations. Now let's see if we can take some phrases or expressions in math and turn them into words. You might express 7 plus 4 as 7 increased by 4. Or we could say um, the sum of 7 and 4. You could express this in words as saying 7 squared. This one has an exponent in it, and order of operations says we have to do the exponents first. So we could express this as the product <coughs> of 5 and 2 squared, or cubed. That's a cubed. Seventeen, you could say seventeen diminished by three. The difference of seventeen and three. Here we have a uh, an order of operations where exponents would come before the fraction. So this part right here would be done first. So you could say 2 to the fourth power times 3 fourths. This one also has an order of operations. We have um, a subtraction and a multiplication. Multiplication has to be done before the subtraction. So we could say um, 20 um, diminished by the product of 8 and 2. <clears throat>